Hi right, guys, welcome to the Avid Trade Show 2021 and we've got loads of exciting products to reveal to you today and we're going to start off with our flagship product which is the one that everybody's been talking about and that's the Thermatec sleeping bag. So let's take a look. We've got two different sizes that are available. We've also got the standard size and we've got the XL size as well which, fish, which both fit and are designed to fit our bed chairs. That's the Benchmark X and the Benchmark Standard as well, but they do fit all of the models of uh, sleeping bag system, uh, uh, bed chair systems on the market at the moment. So we'll start with the, uh, the Standard. Now, the one thing that people have been asking us is, uh, how does it work, this sleeping bag? Because obviously, you hear people talking about things setting on fire, etc. but this particular design has been used for many, many years. It's been used in Canada, um, it, a lot of the lumberjacks out there to warm their clothing, etc. So it's been fully tested. It's not going to set on fire. It's not going to cause you any problems whatsoever. But what you've got is you've got three different elements in the sleeping bag. You've got one at the top here. You can just get a little bit closer here, Joe, and have a look. It's uh, an element that's square at the top. You've got one in the middle and you've got one down the bottom, which is obviously going to warm your feet up as well. And the way it works is just with a standard little power pack. You can use uh, one of these Easy Act one, uh, ones that we've got here or one of the Ridge Monkeys and it just plugs in, simply like that. And then you've got different settings which you've got a little button just up here which will decide whether you want it on a, a comfort setting, a cosy setting, a warm setting or a hot setting. And we've actually got this little chart which I'm sure Joe will show to you closer up which gives you a guide of how much drainage you're going to get on the power pack itself. And for those guys that are out on the bank for longer than 48 hours, it'll actually work for 15 hours of continuous use on the highest setting, which if you're gonna use it for a couple of hours a day, that's gonna last you into a week session very easily. But we've got the different settings here, which you can see just co color coded with the, the lights, very simple to use. And it actually does get very, very cozy in there. Yesterday we had on most of the day and we had the clients coming around and sitting in it and they were surprised at how warm it gets. And it's a really comfortable um, sleeping bag, which is gonna be perfect for this winter, whether you're in England or you're overseas. So there's the standard, and I think it weighs about four kilos. So you know, one of the things that people have been asking is about the weight of these products, because there's a lot of guys nowadays who are fishing overnight sessions and trying to sort of limit the amount of weight that they've got. And if you combine this with our lightest bed chair, without the system, obviously, I think the bed chair itself weighs about seven kilos. And then you've got the sleeping bag, which weighs about four kilos. So combined, you've got a five season bag and a bed chair that weighs 11 kilos which is obviously nothing compared to some items that are on the market. And if you want to look at them packed down, there's the, the standard, which is nothing. Very, very light, and there's the larger one there, which as I say, fits our Benchmark X, which is over there. And they are usable, as I said, on all of the bed chairs that are on the market. So that is the Thermatec sleeping bag, and these are going to be very popular this winter. So. Check them out in your local Avid Stockist anytime soon. Right, the next item to show you then is the new Leveltech Benchmark beds that we've got out. And there's a couple of things that's really important about these. And the first one that I want to talk about relates to my own fishing because over the years that I've carp fished, which is many years, I have actually had a few problems with my back as I've got it towards middle age. And I think it's mainly down to the fact that in the early years of my carp fishing, we weren't using bed chairs that were super level. We were using bed chairs that had a slightly raised head end. And if you slept a lot on your side like I do, it's ended up making me a little bit wonky, which as I've got towards middle age, has given me a few problems to my back. So the point I'm getting at here is that modern day bed chairs especially have become more about keeping it nice and flat and making sure that your bed chair is super flat, that in later life, you're not gonna get any problems. And it's a slight addition. We've seen a few people saying, well, why do you need that on a bed chair? But trust me, it's a very important point, this, is that we've added two little spirit levels to the bed chair. There's one on this side, and there's one on that side as well. And that just ensures that when you're on uneven ground, it's gonna keep it nice and level, and you're not gonna get any problems with your back in later life. Now, the name itself, the Level Tech, is obviously related to the spirit levels, but it's also down to this new leg system that we've got here. It's on every leg, and there's a closer up of it. And so we've basically got a track system on there, which is little five mil increments, as you can see. So you can adjust it nice and easily. And we do recognize that the old benchmarks 
There was a slight problem with the old leg system that certainly if you used your bench chair over a long term basis, it was possible for it to slip out of place. But with this new level tech system, these little increments can be raised by five mil at a time and it locks into place and it won't slip at all. And believe me, we've got some big guys in the Avid office who are over 20 stone and this has been well tested and it will not slip out of place at all. It is super solid. The other little thing to mention is that uh, the Benchmark X, all we've done is we've just added a, a fourth leg and uh, that just gives it a little bit more stability. So you've got guys coming into your swim who sit on the end of your bed chair, you're not going to get any problems with it bending out of shape, etc. We just expected the, um, we just saw there was a demand there for the extra fourth leg, so that's what we've done. Now onto the systems, these are really popular and uh, the main change to it is, as you can see here, we've just added this waterproof outer skin just in case you want to sleep under the stars because there's a lot of people nowadays doing overnighters etc and it's fully waterproof and you'll also notice with it that we've got a slightly um, bigger area down towards the where the feet are going to be sitting because we did recognize that the old systems it was a little bit tighter down that area and when you're lying on your back and you've got your feet sticking up because it was so tight towards that feet and it was ending up making your, your toes sort of bend back. So just giving it a little bit of extra room there, which just makes it a little bit more comfortable. And also with this uh, system, there's the option to reverse the material and just move that foot out of the way. You'll notice here we've just got a, um, we've done away with the track system around there. And you've got this nice smoother area, which obviously from a cleaning point of view, is just nice and easy to just brush it away rather than the bits and pieces falling down, these little grooves. The other thing worth mentioning here is that we do recognise that not everybody likes to have the, uh, the peach skin on the, on the outside or the, the waterproof on the outside. They do like to have it reversed round and we've now got the option to swap things round. So if you want to have the, the fleece on the outside or the peach skin on the inside, etc., it does give you the option to flip things round and make it a little bit more comfortable for you. So yeah, just a few additions to the benchmark systems and bed chairs and it all comes under the level tech range and we're sure it's going to be very popular as well. Right, if there's one thing that we've learned over the years, it's that everybody does different types of cart fishing these days. In the olden days, people just went cart fishing, but nowadays you've got guys that go just for a few hours, you've got guys that go overnight for a, a couple of weeks at a time. And when it comes to luggage, it's important that you get the right type of luggage for the type of fishing that you're doing because you don't want to be carrying too much gear with you, certainly if you're going for a day anyway. So the compound luggage range that we've designed is about having that interchangeability with your luggage rather than just carrying everything for each session that you go on. So I'll just talk you through what we've got here. We've got the, uh, the standard carry-all, we've got the larger carry-all and we've got the rook bag. And as you'll see, You've got the webbing down the sides of each of these items and this is where the interchangeability of this system comes in because we've got these two pouches, two different sizes of pouch, the larger one and the smaller one, which have got these little clips on the outside and this gives you the possibility of keeping all of your important items in either of these two different bags that then can be clipped on to either one of the standard um, carry-all, the larger carry-all, or the rook bag, which then gives you that option to take what you want to with you each time you go fishing, whether you go for a week or whether you go for a night at a time. And the other thing that these little pouches do as well is they fit onto the rod bag systems that we've got there. And we've got a 10 foot, a single 10 foot, a double 10 foot, a single 12 foot sleeve, and a double 12 foot sleeve, which have all got the webbing on them as well, just like the, uh, uh, the bags have. And again, if you're just going for a few hours at a time, you've got your buzzers in one pouch and maybe your, your rig bits and pieces in the other pouch. These can be clipped off the luggage and just clipped onto the side of each rod bag, which again gives you that option to just travel light. Or again, if you're going away for a few days at a time, it gives you the option to take everything with you. But this has proved very popular amongst all the consultants that have been trying the Avid uh, compound range because it's that interchangeability which is important nowadays because you know, we all like to go fishing and you like to fit in an hour here and there but not carry too much gear with you and this definitely gives you the option to pick and choose as you do um, depending on what type of fishing you're going to be doing. 
Well, the next item to talk about is the lockdown landing net holder, which I'll come to in a minute because you can also see the lockdown stage stands that are there. And I know that Carpology have already done a little video on the stage stands. So I'm sure Joe, who's behind the camera at the moment, I'll put a description and a link somewhere that you can see the full review on those. But uh, it's fair to say that these kind of landing net holders have become pretty popular on fisheries nowadays, especially on the commercial fisheries. Places like RH fisheries, I think it's even compulsory that you, you need to have one with you because um, it's a way of retaining your fish, it's a way of keeping them in the water as long as possible, and it's also a way of keeping your landing net close to hand as well. So a closer look at it then, and in the middle you've just got this little tension strap which has got various different settings on it depending on the width of the landing net pole. This is the breech landing net that uh, is in our range. We've also got the safeguard net, which has got a slightly thinner handle, but it doesn't just work with our landing nets. It also works with other companies' landing nets. So you don't need to change your landing net to just use this particular um, system. It's very simple. Undo the strap, just twist it, and out it comes. And you've just got this little sort of rubber inserts in the middle there that keeps things nice and secure. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And if you do use it when you've got a fish in the net, it's obviously not going to get out of there and it's not going to completely pull your fish out. I know Ollie Davis from Nash has a few problems with losing fish when he gets them in the landing net, so we recommend someone like Ollie get something like this because it's perfect. But as I say, it's a universal system that can be used with all landing nets that are out there. It's superbly priced as well. I'm not going to mention the price at the moment, you'll see it in the descriptions, but uh, it's very competitive and it has become a compulsory item on a lot of different commercial fisheries, so certainly an item to get in your tackle. So that basically rounds up a look at the standout items from the, the Avid range this year. There's lots of other items that are available that I've not covered today, so if you want to take a look at those, either go to the Avid website and click on all the links that are available, or check them out at your local Avid stockist. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>